write last two digits of the number 3 power 400. So 3 to the power 400 is very huge big number and we need to find the last two digits. Let us use by binomial theorem concept. 3 power 400 we can write 3 power 4 whole power 100. So 3 power 4 is 81. 81 to the power 100. So 81 to the power 100 we can write it as 1 plus 80 whole power 100. So which is in the form of 1 plus x whole power n that is summation over r is equal to 0 to n ncr x to the power r. So we can write 1 plus 80 whole power 100 is equal to summation of r is equal to 0 to 100 ncr that is 100 c r x to the power r which is equal to let us take r is equal to 0 first 100 c naught x to the power 0 plus 100 c1 x to the power of 1 plus 100 c2 x to the power 2 and so on up to 100 c 100 x to the power 100 so here x is equal to 80 so let us write 100 c naught values since we know n c naught n c n is equal to 1 and n c 1 is equal to n c n minus 1 is equal to n so 100 c naught is 1 times so 1 times of x power 0 that is 80 power 0 is 1 plus 100 c 1 that is 100 times x to the power of 1 that is 80 to the power 1 plus 100 c 2 80 square and so on 100 c 100 is 1 times 80 to the power of 100 so 1 times 1 1 plus 100 into 80 80 8000 so we can write it as 100 let me take common and here 100 c2 and 80 square we can write it as 8 square into 10 square plus and so on if you take the third term 100 c3 you will be getting 80 cube that is 8 cube into 10 cube and so on 80 power 100 is 8 power 100 into 10 power 100 and it's very clearly we can see that from second term to the last term we can take 100 as a common 100 can be taken common it's a multiple of 100 all the numbers so we can write 1 plus 100 times the any number 80 plus 100 c2 8 square plus 100 c3 8 power 3 into 10 plus and so on here we can add 80 8 power 100 into 10 to the power of 98 so whatever this number this number let us consider to be n so 1 plus 100 times of some number n which always ends with this number 100 times n always ends with two zeros two zeros for sure and then for this number for this number so and so number ends with two zeros added with one so surely we will be getting one and zero are the n numbers n digits so we can say 1 plus 1 plus 80 whole power and that is 81 power 100 81 power 100 ends with 
last two digits 0 1 so therefore last two digits so in 3 to the power 400 is equal to 0 1 okay 